Chapter 24, Elise's Mill Destroyed. Fort Aswagachi troops on June 22, 1782, destroyed Elise's Mill. Captain Robertson wrote to General Haldeman's aide-de-camp, Captain Brame, The Indians are gone home, so that I have time to write. I have now the honor to inform His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief, that I was three weeks absent from hence, invested the mill the 22nd instant at half past one in the morning, and had the doors opened by a crowbar, whilst the archers amused them with the combustibles, which burned only the shingles as the boards were of oak. There were in the mill about 500 bushels of wheat, 100 barrels of flour, and a quantity of Indian corn belonging to the public, and about as much belonging to the inhabitants, a quantity of salted pork and beef, the whole for the use of the fort in that quarter. A contractor, Gershom Skinner, lived there and was killed. The mill ground 200 bushels in 24 hours and likewise bolted it all by water. We burned an old wooden mill and a small dwelling house near the stone mill and likewise four good houses with very excellent barns about a mile on this side of the mill. We destroyed everything about the place of the least use or value. Destruction of Elise's mill had been for months the aim of Fort Oswegatchie's officers. Robertson, on March 9, 1782, had informed Haldeman, I have the honor to acquaint your excellency that the first scout sent from hence is returned two days ago with a prisoner from about 400 yards of Elise's mill, which even saved it as a disposition was made and on their way to attack it, when the now prisoner alarmed the people in the mill and ran toward it, but on being fired at and wounded, he was taken. He informed me of the fate of Lord Cornwallis and army. His lordship has gone to England, as likewise Brigadier General Arnold, and, as he, the prisoner, expresses it, another general is dead or drowned. Although he, the prisoner, appears to be a simple fellow, he very pertinently told me there were only a few killed and about 8,000 taken prisoner, and that General Washington commanded. He likewise informs that he saw a man from New England who told him there were 400 sledges at Kinderhook from Boston or near it, with 100 pieces of cannon, 15 stands of spare arms, and a large army. He did not know their destination or strength, and he said that there was a body of troops expected up the Mohawk River daily. On July 8th, Haldeman, as a mark of approbation, commissioned Robertson's son, an ensign in the 84th Regiment, and assigned the young man to Fort Aswagachi. Two weeks later, the general, in a communication marked private to Robertson, ordered both Captain Robertson and Ensign Robertson to Fort Michilimackinac, where the captain was to take command. Captain Robertson's company was ordered to Carlton Island. General Haldeman was the colonial governor of Quebec from 1778 until 1784, Born in Switzerland in 1718, he died in 1791. Mm -hmm.